It's recording. All right. So, this is what I got for Christmas. And I've been waiting to unbox it because I've had it for a little while. And finally doing it. Now Christmas is finally over. So, this is a 100 watt solar panel kit. This is the new 100 watt solar panel kit from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight? To, yep, to go with my old one. And I got the uh, little extra thing. This can come with this. was separate. I just take it to the box so I wouldn't lose it. Oh. And this is the thing that connects the solar panels. So you can plug in panels Looks to like these. A smoke, to, smoke detector. Yeah, I guess it kind of does. Um, so that you can connect other panels to this. It's supposed to have a 400 watt um, rating, and then this can go out to whatever. So I'll fool with this when it comes to trying to hook up, hook it to my system. In the meantime, let's see what's in this box. Yeah, probably a solar panel. Well, uh, definitely a solar panel, but I'm, I'm curious what kind of wiring and all this other stuff we got. Oh, and one other thing. Oh, pause it real quick. Okay. All right, we had to pause for a second because I forgot to bring something to charge. So we got a dead... <laughs> just chop the I just dropped the scissors. <laughs> so we got a dead Go Power. It's pretty dead, so we're going to use that as our uh, item to be charged. Do you want me to help? Sure. <laughs> right. Oh, that's heavy. Yeah. All right, let me set it I down. I know solar panels were that, that heavy. The cameraman yeah. tried to help, and guess what he does? He can't get it. That's all right. As long as we don't drop this thing. Why does it kind of look like a... One of those it's whiteboards got, that. Oh, let's like get the on the middle. thing. It's got legs. It does kind of look like a whiteboard, doesn't it? Like a, for like a metal. Yeah, we've got a instruction panel. We'll look at that in a second. Can you hold it? I want. I'm holding it. I got, I got okay. Make sure you're not covering the lens. Okay, I'm not covering the lens. Okay, good. I'm just trying my best. If this it's video okay. looks terrible. Well, it's got to look better than the, the old crappy camera I've been using for my other videos. Yeah. I definitely need to upgrade my camera game. So, That's a bag. It's really right. big. so let's take a look at some build quality here. It's got some nice aluminum rails here. Oh, it feels real nice. So I wish I had thought to grab a, uh, Not a solar panel. Well, I'm going to hook it to the solar panels, but a, um, a tape measure. Maybe I'll go and do that here in a second. If I can find one. Let's take a look at the back. The back, we've got some legs just flipped out. And we got our same standard S SAE connection, like an automotive style connection that Harbor Fur uses for all of their panels. Also, can I say something? Sure. I was just going to say something to the camera. Sorry that it's shaking because sometimes I shake for no reason or it's just cold outside. It's a little chilly out here, but it's unusually warm for it being in the Midwest and yeah. uh, the day after Christmas. Right. Yeah, but on Christmas here, it wasn't even cold. It was warm. All right. Right? So, yeah. Surprisingly warm. All right. So as far as cable connectors go, this looks like this goes with the other set of panels. Ghostbusters. More so than anything else because it does not have the connector that will plug into this like the other one does. So... Okay, well, there's some stuff in the manual. Let's, I don't know let's show the manual. Anyone wants to read what's in these specs here? Let's hold it for a second, then we'll go next. It shows temperatures, and and of course, this is a hundred watt panel. It's a rated output, 5.56 amps at 18 volts. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go and get. Let's take a look at it. So I'm going to go and get the connector off the other one so we can see this thing in action since it did not come with any other cables, which is important to notice. If you don't have the original kit, you probably have to buy the accessory kit because they do sell a separate accessory kit, which I have because I use the cable extension that will plug into this. Hello. And uh, so let me go get that and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So let's give some dimensions and I'll go to the widest part here where it's got the plastic thing. Yeah. And let's go across here. So it is about three foot and a half an inch. Okay, let's see the camera. Oh, it's upside down. Well, let me do it this way then. It's right side up for me. <laughs> yeah. Let's put this he's way. From... I'm standing behind it. So there we go. Three foot. And let's go with the top measurement. 
and it is just under 27 inches, like 26 and three quarter inches. I'm gonna move it up a little bit. I'm just trying my best. That's okay. I'm not a good kid. And so that is your measurement. Yeah. Now, because I was surprised it didn't come with this cable here, so I assume that this thing really needs to be used in conjunction with either the accessory kit or with the other kit or both. This cable I have here came off the original kit that has the four panels, and I have an accessory kit piece, an extension cable on it, mother solar panels to make it longer. So I just took this off the extension cable so we switch. can plug it in and check it out. You want to switch that? So I guess so. So show what? Like geek people. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at, we are in definitely not optimal solar conditions, but we're going to go ahead and we, we discharge this solar, this uh, go power. Is it this one? It's that one where it says input, see, 15 volt input. Okay, I'm, I'm going to oh, try. Oh, we got set it where we, oh, can, it's we, can, we can see, yep, it is charging. And it may, all right, so we're charging. And, um. Up. I think I have my finger all over the camera button. So, well, anyway, so we'll sorry. redo it again there, Ben. Sorry, go. Camera work needs we need a lot of practice with cameras, right? So yeah. So here we go. So this shows it is working with. Oh my goodness. Yo, you're dropping stuff today. I know it's still working. I'm surprised. That scared me. Me too. And I tried to catch it, and I didn't. It didn't succeed. All right. So now it is. It's charging. So let's see what's in this. One. Cause this is what I'm gonna be using to join this to my other solar existing solar panels. Okay, let's open it. Can I open it? Sure. Okay, okay. okay you can show my face right here. All right. Oh, look, this one has. It has two wires to it. All right, so this looks like it has a also, standard SAE. It has like bolts on the back end. What is that for? Is that to hang it on something? I think so. We're I don't learning know. as I don't you know. learn. Yeah. Let's take a look at the back of this. Are you kidding me? I don't know why I keep dropping everything. All right. The like, time you something. No, the four time All right, so here's the diagram. You can put all these different smaller panels. I'm just going to leave them all, the four panels linked as one. And then go with this one. So this, one. where's the output? All right, here's our output. Not the old camera. It's, come, it's back. Just get it if you guys comment down below if the video is how bad my camera angles are, my bad. I'm just trying my best. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Is this this probably doesn't... my first time doing it. And looks like this should plug into here, but also our camera really... has horrible quality, right? My old camera's got horrible quality. This one's a lot better. This thing have yeah. You think iPhone qualities are good? Yes, iPhone quality is much better than that what little camera. Tell them? Yeah, tell them what. Also, are you, one fact about the camera stuff. So according to this, it looks I, like these I'm two wires. Just... The cameraman is recording with their phone. I'm a cameraman. The guy with the Ghostbuster shirt. Da -da -na 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 -na. All right, so this looks like this. the wires plug yeah. into this, also, on this diagram. Doesn't really like say which one is which. Um, this I was using a phone. This, this is does like, not look this like this. Is fits. My phone, and I and I got it for Christmas, so I got it yesterday. So don't judge me. Nobody's judging me. It's fine. But hopefully, no one doesn't comment down below with how my camera stuff is bad. See that fits in there like that, and then you got. But then where are these two gonna go? These two would have to go into the solar charge controller, I would think. I feel like I'm breaking something. Either. All right, so with this setup here, it's not gonna work quite as well as I hoped because this is gonna have to go out to another SAE connection for me to join it in the system some yeah, kind of way. I got an accessory kit, so I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna hook this up. But for the moment, we have this, we have that, and the plan, let me see it. Oh. The plan is to integrate this into my existing setup. So I have 100 watts of solar already off of that. And I may have to end up getting some more accessory cables. But the idea is I'm going to put my um, existing 100 watt panel kit plugged into one of these inputs. Then take the output here and then take this out and send this to the extension cable. So that I have 200, uh, two 100 watts going in this panel and um, the other system coming in. I have 200 watts coming in. And then this coming out that I can go... Uh, 
Oh, you want to show the dimensions of that? Okay, yeah. let's show the dimensions of that too. I feel like I'm gonna break it. You're not gonna break it. It's like ABS it's plastic like or something. Seven inches. No. Let's see. Yeah, about seven inches. Yeah. And um, it should be equal on the other side. So here, let's stretch it this way. Okay. And oh, hold it. And then we'll pull it out there. Yeah, it's like seven inches. Uh, yeah, and it's probably closer to it's a little over it's seven, seven inches. inches. I just want probably to closer that. to eight, but it's like seven and a half maybe. Yeah. Um. So that's it. And once I get it figured out, I'll maybe do a follow up and on um, something. I'll probably end up having to get some other kind of cable connection because this is not going to plug in anything except maybe the solar charge controller. Also, and I'm not thing? using a solar charge controller. I'm using this in here to charge my Go powers, and that's. That's what I want to have the 200 watts coming in. I know it says it'll fry it like bacon also, or whatever. Probably but hold it so you don't drop it again. Yeah, I know, right? But it won't fry it like bacon. At least I want 100 watts. A bacon? And we get it's something from another video. Uh -huh. And with the rainy conditions here and the uh, cloudy oh. conditions here and the fact that the solar panels are set up between two houses, doesn't get a lot of direct sun anyway. I think it will be. Uh, I think it'll be fine. But we'll we'll see if I it, burn it up. I'll let everybody know. it gets cloudy in here. And look at this guy here. It's terrible for solar right now. It's like the worst possible condition. No, it gets cloudy here. I know. So, and that's it for this uh, also, Harbor Freight unboxing also, for the, on the SHTF Garden Channel, which also, is not about gardening this time. Yes. Also, subscribe to my channel. I need to subscribe to this Big Isaiah's house. Thank you. Okay, and he's got Big Isaiah's house. He's doing some Pokemon unboxings and stuff. So, yeah, he's having yeah. fun with that. Well, the place we're going. Because we have to go somewhere. Alright, and so looks like I got some stuff. Alright, so here's how I have it set up. Up on top of the camper, if y'all see my previous videos where the other solar panel's at. Here's the combiner cable that has the four cables. I just threw it in here. Keep it out of the weather. Has the four combiner cables coming into this thing right here. So there's, um, that's where the other 100 watts would be. But since I don't have the another ex extension pack or accessory pack, and this is the output that's going in that window right there, which I'll show that in a minute. So um, I went and unplugged one of the 25 watt panels and plugged in the 100 watt panel to it. So now it's got 175 watts on that connection, which is probably not rated for that. But that's what it has on it. It's so cloudy, it won't get anywhere close to that. And the other 25 watt panel, see if I can do this I just ran the, the cord and just run down the side of that separately because the cords on those are yeah I did I kind of there put them up there so the, the cords are, are pretty uh pretty long on the 25 watt panels unlike the 100 watt panel uh, as long as you're safe I guess I saw that so I have all this 200 watts coming in and then this outputs there and just throw this cable hang on I'm gonna hold you in a second Throw this right there to keep it out the weather. So now they're all going in there. So now let's go inside in a moment and scared. check it out. It's okay. Don't have to be like, scared. I forgot I don't like heights. I don't like heights either, but sometimes you gotta do stuff. Looks like the sun's coming out for a minute, which will help show how this thing is working. Go get it. All right, so this cord is the one that's coming in. From the solar panels, I know it's a little messy here. I was making a gingerbread house on it, or we were. I did, actually did not do most of the work. <laughs> I'll be honest. And it's coming in here. I wish the scope power showed me the amount of watts coming in. Unfortunately, it does not. So I'm going to have to find some other means of testing that. But that's it. And my little project area is a little messy, but it is what it is. And, of course, there's a solar panel back here for something else I was working on. I haven't got to making a video on that yet. And there's another one in the other corner over there for something else. Those will eventually make appearances, I guess. But it's got this. That one has this little weird connector here, like a Anderson or something, but tiny. But anyway, so there we go. We see it's charging, and with having double panels on sets of panels, it should hopefully charge a lot faster. That was part of the problem with this thing. If it was dead, uh, it would take all day long. Uh, if it was a really bad cloudy rainy day, it wouldn't even charge it all the way up. It'd take two, like two days to charge, even with a 100-watt panel. Between two houses and with bad cloudy days, it was terrible. On a good sunny day, it would charge in a couple of hours. 
but with double the uh double the wattage now i am hoping that charging will be improved greatly on the often cloudy days that we have over here but all right that's it that was my um, solar panel video for the harbor freight uh, 100 watt it things to note about that it does require either the extension accessory box that has extension cables and all the rest or plugging it into the old system or both i have both so oh, I'm back. and he's back and uh so that is what it is um but other than that, i think it's great it seems to be pretty well made it seems to be durable we'll see what how it stands the test of time it all is universal and plugs into the original cabling uh so i'm happy with it and that was that's what it was and uh, hopefully everybody had a merry christmas and is looking forward to a good year in 2022 and as far as the gardening stuff goes i will be putting some more things out about that soon because we're it's getting to be about time to start in about a month i'm going to start seeds for uh spring planting and here soon i'm going to want to start um start growing sweet potato slips sweet potato slips take forever to get any slips so we're going to be doing that soon that way we have some slips by the time it gets warm oh, all right but those are going to be in future oh. videos anyways this is shtf garden uh wrapping it up and if you like and share subscribe and subscribe to big isaiah's and subscribe house. to big isaiah's house might be posting new videos tomorrow or something i don't know yeah you need to make some new videos only like two videos you need some encouragement to uh have fun with it i mean it's it's, yeah, it's all fun open the pokemon cards again yeah maybe do some pokemon cards maybe something else who knows who knows what can happen yeah. on the fun and magic of youtube all right have a good day hope you all have a merry christmas and uh, hopefully everything uh, is going well in your life and everybody's doing okay. All right. Thank you. Bye. Peace.